Okay, let's talk about multiplying and dividing with indices. You know what indices are. They're the little numbers that you see in situations like this. What does that say? It says 3 squared. And indices are the numbers, these little numbers that you get here like that. Uh, we say 3 squared, don't we? We could also say 3 to the power of 2 or um, 3 to the 2. It's another way of saying the same thing. Um, the little number that you get there that indicates squared or cubed or to the power of 12 or to the power of 19. These are index numbers or indices. Here's another one, 7 to the power of 12, to the power of 12. That little 12 there is the index number. Um, you can also have them after letters, so you could have x to the power of 4. There it is. Um, and what do they mean? Well, let's take each of those. 3 squared, what does it mean? 3 to the power of 2 means 3 times by itself. 3 times 3. 7 to the power of 12, what does it mean? It means 7 times by itself, times by itself, times by itself, and so on. Um, so you've done it 12 times. You end up with 12 sevens there. Um, x to the power of 4 means x times x times x times x. And that, by the way, is why we write our x's in maths with those curvy legs rather than straight legs. Because otherwise, x to the power of 4 would look like x times x times x times x. And that would be a little bit hard to understand, wouldn't it? Um, so there we go, x times x times x times x, that's x to the power of 4. So these little numbers here are indices or index numbers. And it is possible, there are rules um, that tell us how to multiply numbers that have indices with them. Um, and let's look at a couple. First of all, if I ask you what is 3 squared times 2 cubed or 2 to the power of 3, what I'm asking you is what is 3 times 3 times by 2 times 2 times 2? And you could work out that 3 times 3 was 9, I suppose. And you could work out that 2 times 2 was 4, and 4 times 2 was 8. So end up with 9 times 8, and 9 times 8 is 72. You can get a hard and fast answer there, can't you? Um, but how about the situation here? You could do the same thing, I suppose, with 3 squared times 3 cubed. Um, and you could say that was 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? Because that's what 3 cubed is. There's 3 squared, and there is 3 cubed. And if you put all those together, well, you get 3 times 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81, and 81 times 3 is 243. Perhaps with your times tables, you'll be as good as me one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but there's actually an easier way of, of, of doing this. Um, if you want to be a bit of a cheater, and no one's asking you for a precise answer, or, or for a number, um, if you look at that, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, there's another way of saying that, isn't there? We can just very simply say that that is 3 to the power of 5, can't we? So our 3 squared times 3 cubed actually end up as being 3 to the power of 5. And that comes in useful um, with bigger numbers that um, even grown-ups can't easily uh, multiply together in their heads. For example, how about if we have 7 to the power of 5? times 7 to the power of 6. Well, let's look at 7 to the power of 5. That's 7, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's all times by 7 to the power of 6, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, with the best one in the world, unless you're a mathematical prodigy, um, that's going to be a hard one to work out, isn't it? But there's an easier way of saying all that. Because when you look at it like that, what you realise is you've got 7 times 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 7. And that is 7 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 7 to the power of 11, isn't it? So 7 to the power of 5 times 7 to the power of 6 is 7 to the power of 11. And hopefully you're seeing a connection between our question, our numbers in our question, and the numbers in our answer. Um, if I write it out like this, you'll see it even more clearly. 7 to the power of 5 times 7 to the power of 6 equals 7 to the power of... And what you do when you're multiplying indices is you add those indices together. Because, of course, 5 plus 6 is 11. If we go back to the previous question, you'll see it again. 3 squared times 3 cubed is 3 to the power of 2 plus 3, which is 3 to the power of 5. So the rule for multiplying numbers with indices is very simply that you add the indices together. And the big number, in this case the 3, uh, in the next case the, um, the 
is 7, the base number we call that stays the same. So you don't morph that together, it just stays the same. So the base number, the 7 here, is the same in our answer. And it's just very simply that we add the indices together to get our new index number. That, of course, only works when the base number is the same. So if you were doing 7 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 4, it doesn't work because you've got different base numbers here and here. So our rule here that we're discussing here works when the base number is the same. So let me just write that down just in case you're watching this with the sound off. Base number must be the same. Okay. Uh, let's look at that. Um, it works with letters, of course. If you have x uh, and x to the power of 12, and you multiply that by x to the power of 7, then you will get that's right, x to the power of 12 plus 7, which is x to the power of 19. Here's one with brackets. How about if you have x cubed and you want to square it? What happens there? Well, that's an interesting one. You don't add the 3 and the 2 here together, because what is x cubed? squared mean? Well, it means x cubed times by itself, right? So x cubed times x cubed. So that's going to be x to the power of whatever 3 plus 3 is, which is, of course, 6. That's so going to be x to the power of 6. Here's another one. Let's take y to the power of 4 cubed. What does that mean? Does it mean we're going to do 4 plus 3? No, because y to the 4 uh, cubed means y to the 4 times y to the 4 times y to the 4, which is, of course, y to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is y to the 12. So when we have indices in brackets like this, in actual fact, I don't know if you noticed yet, what you do is you take the index number in the brackets and multiply it by the one outside bracket. So here, 3 times 2 gives us over here x to the 6. Here, 4 times 3 gives us x to the power of 12 over here. Yes. Okay, so um, that's how we deal with um, base numbers um, in brackets. Let's talk quickly about dividing uh, numbers with indices. The rule is the same. The base number must be identical. Um, 3 to the power of 12, no, let's keep it a bit smaller. Uh, 3 to the power of 8 divided by 3 cubed. Let's write that down. 3 to the power of 8 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's 4, that's 5, that's 6, that's 7, that's 8, divided by, we can write it like this, can't we, like a fraction, so grown-ups now, 3 times 3 times 3, that's 3 cubed. And now hopefully you understand you can do some cancelling here. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and what does that leave us with? That's all the cancelling we can do, so we are left with on top, 3 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so... We've got 3 to the power of 5 divided by 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. And of course, 3 to the power of 5 divided by 1 is going to be 3 to the power of 5, isn't it? And the thing divided by 1 doesn't change, does it? 7 divided by 1, 7. 12 divided by 1, 12. 3 elephants divided by 1, 3 elephants still. Um, so there we go. That's dividing um, indices. Let's do another one. 7 to the, uh, 7 again. There we go. 7 to the power of 9 divided by 7 to the power of 7. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, divided by 7 to the power of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you've yeah, 7, cancel them out, that cancels out, that cancels out, that cancels out, that cancels, those two cancel each other, those two cancel each other, and those two cancel each other, so we've got on the top, 7 times 7, which is 7 squared, on the bottom, 1 times 1 times 1, etc., which is 1, which means we have 7 squared very quickly. 4 cubed divided by 4 cubed. 4 times 4 times 4 divided by 4 times 4 times 4. They cancel out to give you 1. They cancel out to give you 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we've got 1 over 1, and 1 divided by 1 is 1, because anything divided by itself is 1. So if you've got 4 cubed, and you divide it by 4 cubed, your answer will always be 1. We can write that, of course, as 4 to the power of 0. Um, but we'll talk about that another day, perhaps. Um, for now, it's sufficient, I hope, to notice that when you're dividing uh, numbers with indices, instead of adding them together, this time, you subtract them. Look, 7 to the power of 9 
divided by 7 to the power of 7 is 7 squared. Here's our answer. 9 take away 7 is 2. Um, this previous one, 3 to the power of 8 divided by 3 to the power of 3 will be 3 to the power of whatever 8 minus 3 is, which is 3 to the power of 5. So when you're multiplying um, the same base number um, with indices, you add the indices together, as here, x to the 12 times x to the 7 is x to the 19. When you're dividing the same base number with indices, as you are here, then you subtract the indices. That's the simple rule. There are We talked also about um, brackets uh, and what you do here. Um, have a look at that again at some point. But that's a basic explanation of what you do when you're multiplying and dividing with indices.